Welcome to Boss Custom Renovation Review. Today we're going to do a quick little tip on how to remove casing without damaging the drywall or messing up your jam. So you're going to need three tools for this. You're going to want to have a knife, an X-Acto knife, a little flat bar. Now these are made by Richards. You can get them at the Home Depot. Um, they come red. This one's all worn out. It has a chip out of the edge. It can still work though. I got to pick another one up. I just haven't yet. And then you'll want to have some uh, side cutters or some type of plier to pull out any nails that are left over. So the first thing you want to do is cut along the edge here with your knife. So just be careful here. You can go back a few times. What you don't want to do is hold the knife too much like this because you'll be just cutting into the drywall. And if you hold it too flat, you're going to skate onto the, the molding here. So you want to kind of be 45 to the wall and the molding. So after you get all the outside cut, you also want to cut the inside. So you just want to take your knife and again, keep it kind of 45 and just cut along the inside. Now it's not as imperative to make sure you get a perfect cut along here because it's not going to rip the wood apart, but it will rip the paper off the drywall if you don't get it cut all the way along there. So you'll see in the next step what we need to do. So you cut all the way along on the inside. So obviously you just want to take your time to be careful that you're not swerving your knife into the jam because you're just creating more work for yourself by doing that. So now that you've got both sides of the casing cut, what you want to do is take the little flat bar and slide it in there. And then as it starts to separate, you want to notice any spots that still have a little bit of dap and cut those before you get too crazy with the pry bar because if there's any bits attached, it will pull the paper away. So you just want to work it slowly along. See, it's still attached a little bit right down here. Yeah, so you just want to be careful because it will pull the paper away very quickly. So you're just slowly working the casing off and being careful of it. The dap is not attached. Looks like it's fairly good here. Might be a little bit right at the bottom here. So yeah, once you've got that off, you can be a little more aggressive with the casing and just get the thing off of there. I'm not saving this one. It's pretty damaged, so. I mean, with this little red bar, you can definitely take the casings off and reuse them if you want, but this one's pretty damaged, so. Yeah, so let's come off in one piece. Um, no damage to the drywall. No damage to the jam here. Now, um, the casing that I'm gonna be replacing here is gonna be slightly wider. So it's gonna cover up this little dap seam here. So I don't need to worry too much about that. I can take the little red bar there and scrape the dap seam down a little bit if I like. And then it's not a bad idea to, um, once you get that all cleaned off, you just give this little edge here a quick sand. Just kind of smooths it over. You're going to redap the new casing on there, but it's nice just to have a flat surface to work with. Yeah, so some of the nails that were left in here, you can tr you can pull them out with these side cutters. Maybe you just want to grip onto the nail and use this part here as a lever. You can usually get them out quite nicely. Yeah, so you want to just make sure you're not levering onto a finished part. Like over here is going to be covered by the new casing, so you just lever out there. All right, so there you go. That's a simple little way to pull off the casing without damaging things. 
I mean, if you damage things, you're just creating more work for yourself. So follow those steps and good luck. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm happy to help.